Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we are doing illustrative math unit three, grade eight, lesson number three, practice problems. At special student request, I am breaking out the rainbow colored pen. Here's a graph of the proportional relationship between calories and grams of fish. We get a graph. Write an equation that reflects the relationship using x to represent fish and grams, y to represent number of calories. We need to find a nice point to base this on. How about this one right here? Because this goes through the origin, it's pretty easy. We just need to find our slope. We go through 0, 0. The rise is 150, and the run is 100. So the slope is 150 over 100. One fifty over one hundred, which would be fifteen over ten, or three over two. Because goes through the origin, the equation is nice and simple, y equals 3 over 2x. y equals 1 and a half x. If x is 100, y is 150. If x is 200, y is 300. Use your equation to complete the table. Grams of fish is 1,000. Number of calories is 1,500. Grams of fish is 1. Number of calories is 1.5. Now this we might want our nice little magic calculator for. This one's working backwards. Number of calories, that's our Y value. Two thousand one equals three over two times x. Well, how's that gonna work? We need to figure out what x is. To get the x by itself, we're gonna have to divide. Divide one side by three over two, divide the other side by three over two. What is two thousand one divided by one point five? 1334. Oh, golly dogly. Students are selling raffle tickets for school fundraiser. Yay, raffle tickets. They collect $24 for every 10 tickets they sell. Suppose M is the amount of money they collect for selling our raffle tickets. Write an equation that reflects the relationship between M and and R. So if we get $24 for every 10 raffle tickets, let's find our unit rate, our slope, which would be 2.4 over 1. So our money is 2.4 times the number of raffle tickets. So we get $2.40 per raffle ticket. Label and scale the axes. Make sure the scale is large enough to see how much they would raise if they sell a thousand tickets. Well, we've got our nice equation over here. We know the money for selling a thousand raffle tickets is 2.4 times 
1,000 raffle tickets. So our money would be 2,400. 1,000 times 2.4, 2,400. So our scale on the X, we have to get up to a thousand raffle tickets. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400. Now going up, we have to get to 2,400. To get up to 2,400, we're going to have to count by more than 100. Because if we count by 100s, we get up to 1,400. But if we count by 200s, we'll get up to double that. So that would be 2,800, and that's plenty. 200, 400, 800, 1,000, 1,100. Nope, started... That's 1,200. 1,400, 1,600, 1,800, 2,000, 2,200, 2,400, 2,600, 2,800. Now, we know if we sell zero raffle tickets we're making zero dollars so we already did the calculation here that if we sell a thousand raffle tickets we make two thousand four hundred dollars that's two points we can just run a ruler over it and draw that line we want to check any other nice numbers if we sell different amounts all it takes is two points to make a graph I never suggest only using two points if you're gonna put the two points really really close together a hundred raffle tickets would be about two hundred and forty dollars which is somewhere around there don't use those two points pick two points at opposite ends of the graph draw a nice straight line Beautiful. Okay. Describe how you can tell whether the line's slope is greater than one, equal to one, or less than one. Well, if it was less than one, it would be really, really shallow. Equal to one up one over one up one over one greater than one would be steep steeper than up one over one but that only works if our x scale and our y scale are the same and they are not is the line slope greater than one we already figured that out slope is 2.4 Slope is rise over run. We are rising more than even. Slope of one means for every one we go forward, we go up one. Every one we go forward, we go up one. But here, for every 100 we go forward, we go up 240. Our slope is greater than one. Ooh, another problem. A line is represented by the equation y 
over x subtract 2 equals 3 over 11. What are the coordinates of some of the points that lie on that line? Well, let's check some things out. If x equals 0, well, some points go away. Let's make a table. If x is 0, x minus 2 is negative 2 y over 0 minus 2 equals 3 over 11 0 minus 2 is negative 2 y over negative 2 equals 3 over 11. How do we get this y by itself? Well, what's going on between the y and the stuff? It's y divided by negative 2 to undo. Dividing by negative 2 will multiply by negative 2. Do it to one side, do it to the other. y equals, those will cancel out nicely. 3 over 11 times negative 2 over 1 is negative 6 over 11. Negative 6 over 11. Okay. How about if x equals negative 2? We can do the same thing we did before. and just plug that in. If our x is negative 2, subtract 2. y over negative 2, subtract 2. Well, that's negative 4. So y over negative 4 equals 3 over 11. How did we get that y by itself? We multiplied each side by negative 4. Multiplying by negative 4, dividing by negative 4, cancel out. We're left with just y times negative 4 over 1, because that's what 4 is. It's 4 over 1 is a fraction. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 over 11. Negative 12 over 11. Okay, we've got 0. We've got a... Another nice one here that's negative. Let's go positive. Let's maybe go a little bigger so that we're further away. So we have more space to graph. I'll call it 5. y over x minus 2, 5 minus 2 equals 3 elevenths. 5 minus 2 is 3 equals 3 over 11. How do we get the y by itself? We've got to get rid of dividing by 3. To get rid of dividing by 3, we multiply by 3 y over 3. Those will cancel. y equals 3 over 11 times 3 over 1 is 9 over 11. 9 over 11. What are the coordinates of some points? 3 points counts as some points. Graph the lines on graph paper. Well, for that, we need some graph paper. 
Let me just find us some graph paper. Hey, that's some nice big graph paper. Stay. Where are our points? X of zero. Let me erase all that writing. That's where I put the graph paper, because somebody's a bum. Okay. Zero, negative six elevenths. Negative six elevenths is like negative a half ish. It's close to negative a half. Negative two goes with negative 12 over 11. Negative two is just below one, or just below negative one, rather. Five goes with nine elevenths, which means if we're one. Two, three, four, five, nine elevenths is almost one. This is a pretty darn flat line. Well, that's way bigger than I really wanted it to be, but sure. Ta-da, beautiful line. We graphed some points, we graphed it on paper. The slope is 3 elevenths, which means we go up three over 11. Up three over 11, not a very steep line. That's our last problem. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.